In this lesson, you will learn how to write fractions as multiples. Now to do this, the thing we need to remember is that fractions can be broken down into the sum of smaller fractions. Let's take a look at the fraction 3 sevenths. Now I'm going to show you a number line for this fraction. So for the fraction 3 sevenths, how can we break this down into the sum of smaller fractions? Well to do this, notice that 3 sevenths is right here. And each hop here, each of these divisions, represents one seventh, right? One seventh. You can write this as the fraction one with the numerator and seven in the denominator. Now each time you make a hop here, you're adding one seventh. Now how many of these sevenths are in the fraction three sevenths? Well you can see that there are three. So that means that three sevenths can be broken down into the sum of one seventh added to itself three times. Now this is a repeated addition sentence because we're adding the same fraction a bunch of times and in this case we're adding it three times. Now you might also recall that repeated addition and multiplication are related and this means that you can express three sevenths as a product as well. So if you think about repeated addition when you're adding the same fraction or same number to itself that becomes one of the factors in your multiplication sentence. Now the other factor in the multiplication sentence is how many times you added. And because 3 sevenths has 1, 2, 3 of these 1 seventh parts, that means we're going to multiply the fraction 1 seventh by 3. So this expression 3 times the fraction 1 seventh is equal to 3 sevenths as well. So notice we can write it as the sum of smaller fractions or we can write it as a multiple. Now let's practice doing this again with some other fractions. Take a look at the fraction 5 eighths. Here I have a model that represents this fraction because there are eight total parts in this model and there are five parts in blue. So this is the fraction 5 eighths. Now each of these strips represents 1 eighth. Now if we were to write this as an addition sentence, we'd have 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth, right? And we'd make sure that we got these first five in, right? That's the fraction 5 eighths. Now if we want to go ahead and write this as a multiple, remember that you need to keep in mind the fraction or the unit fraction, which is 1 eighth, and the number of times you add that together, or how many eighths there are. In this case, there are five one eighth pieces. So the multiplication sentence for five eighths would look like this. Let's practice again with another fraction. Here we have a fraction that's greater than one, 15 twelfths. And we want to write this as a multiple. So you're going to do the same exact thing that you've been doing already. And we've looked at models, but now we're not going to have a model. So in the fraction 15 twelfths, there are 15 one twelfth pieces and one twelfth is like that and there are fifteen of them so the multiplication sentence for this fraction would be fifteen times one twelfth now I just want to recap because we did a few different fractions we had five eighths right and we wrote this as five times one eighth and that was the multiplication sentence for that the other fraction we did was the fraction three sevenths and we determined that in this fraction there are three one seventh pieces right so three times one seventh now the way that we've been doing all of these problems has the same exact pattern it doesn't matter if it's a fraction that's greater than one or not what we've done is found the unit fraction and I'm gonna highlight the unit fraction so the unit fraction is one seventh one twelfth and one eighth. And a unit fraction just has the numerator has a value of one. So when you want to write a fraction as a multiplication sentence, find the unit fraction, which is basically going to be the denominator, and then you're going to have a numerator of one. So how many pieces are there, right? Each piece is one twelfth, or each piece is one eighth. And how many are there? There are five one eighth pieces and five comes from the numerator in this case we had fifteen one twelfth pieces fifteen came from the numerator and we were able to determine the unit fraction from the denominator and again down here you had three one seventh pieces so 
you can see that a fraction can be rewritten as the numerator times the unit fraction. And again, the unit fraction is a fraction with 1 as the numerator. And you keep the denominator the same. So you have in the unit fraction 8 is the denominator, and that was the same as the denominator in 5 eighths, 12 for 1 twelfth, and 7 for 1 seventh. So hopefully this will help you when you go forward to rewrite fractions as multiples. Happy solving!